OneMDB's latest disclosure on its deal with Saudi Arabia's PetroSaudi International Limited has raised fresh questions. Over the weekend, the Sovereign Fund's President Arul Kanda said it made 448 million US dollars profit through a failed deal with PetroSaudi in 2009. PJ Uttara MP Tony Poir, a frequent commentator on OneMDB, says instead of making money from the deal with PetroSaudi International, OneMDB instead has to explain a loss of $1.1 billion. Going into details about the deal, Poir says that despite knowing that 1MDB Petro Saudi joint venture had an existing debt of $700 million, the fund agreed to invest $1 billion in the joint venture. But immediately after that, the company repaid in full the $700 million of advances to Petro Saudi using newly received funds from 1MDB. Why would I put in $700 million? Okay. Four days before I know I'm going to sign the agreement, only to take it out one day later. Okay? So the entire agreement signed on 25th of September is an empty agreement, which means that it's just to create a debt in the subsidiary so that once this money comes in, I can take out 700 million US dollars. If it is something that was done like two years ago when they invested in the company, then after that, what MDB two years later wants to invest, that's a different story. This is like four days before the JV was signed. Okay. So the, the fact that everything get very close together is the reason why it raises a suspicion it was a massive scam. Pua was speaking at a press conference in Kuala Lumpur. Shalini Kumar, The Edge TV.